Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Greybeards Podcast. It's your boy Mo Profit in the building. And as always, I got my big little bro in the house, T Pra. He's grilling today. I like it, bro. I got my man Seth in the building. You guys know I'm in Sojo. And of course, we got everybody's favorite, my man Keith, KJ, the antithesis in Greybeards Nation. Of course, we want to know how you spent your week and what you're sipping on. But today, we got a special episode coming at you. Another episode of Greybeards Games. And today, we got big little bro, T Props Trivia. So, of course, we're sipping, but without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to my blood, my bro, my big little bro, t Prof. What's good, family? What's good, bro? Appreciate the intro. Uh, about to come live and direct with a little bit of trivia, and I thought I would spice it up a little bit because this trivia is going to be a little bit uh, difficult. Okay. So, for each correct answer, you can get 10 push-ups in the pocket that I'll have to do. Oh, wow. Whoa, I like whoa, that. Okay, whoa. little incentive. There, there's four right. questions. Each correct answer, you get 10 push-ups in the pocket. And you have wow. that little faith in us, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yes. These questions yes. is hard as all yes. get out. They must there's, be. There's How no many? multiple choice. Yeah, I ain't know. Uh-uh. Gotta, you got to come right with the answer. How many push-ups Mo have right now? 150 still? Yeah, oh, 150. 150. Unless Jamal Murray or uh, Joker put up uh, 35, then it would be a 200. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they got. <laughs> let, let's just let's just say they don't got many games left to do it in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of time. <laughs> they get, they got uh, four four more games to do it in. Mm. <laughs> Here you go. Get to your yeah. trivia because you. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's a, he I'm been jump right in the trivia. And, and, and. Go ahead. Question number one. Very simple question. Ish. All right. Name one of four players. To play for twelve different teams in the NBA. Now I will give one hit. If you need a hit, I can give one hit to I, I, one I of the people. You one. I know one right now. KJ's up. KJ. Ready? Yep. So oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me be clear. We just need to name one of the just four. Just one. Just one of the four. Okay, what if I got more than one? I give you ten push-ups for each one you get right. Wow. I'll take Jamal Crawford. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> Uh oh, that was a lot of ba- that was a lot of bass in your voice. <laughs> I, 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 I'll, go, I'll go one more. I'll go one more. Go one Jimmy more. Ish Smith, incorrect. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give a tip. I give a tip. One of the four. Are any of them current? No. Okay. One, one, one of the four was the number one pick in '95. In '95, Joe Smith. Joe Smith is one. He played for 12 NBA teams? Wow, 12 NBA Joe teams. Smith as a number one wow. pick. So you're down mm-hmm. to 140. Down to 140, Mo. 140 push Down to 140. Joe that Smith great, is one. That was, a, that was a great tip. I'm a draft nerd, so I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> if I need to give one more, I'll give one more, no, one general. No, Seth ain't make a call yet. Seth yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Well, you messed me up with the non current because I had like a one or two guesses that were current and I would have been wrong. So, yeah. uh, damn. Shit. This is this is tough. Uh, yeah. T, I, T throw another hint. Th- throw another tip out yeah. there, T. One one of the people played for the Dallas Mavericks in the early nineties. Probably that means probably wasn't a probably wasn't a straight up Maverick. Damn. Tw- and they early played for 90s. 12 teams? <clears throat> or maybe, maybe I just, in the 90s. I won't even go early. Early might throw it off. In the 90s. No. Um, Jamal Mashburn? Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> uh, give me – Jason Kidd didn't play for 12. Uh, and that probably wasn't even in the 90s. Um, Man, we get a one one on this, T. We need yeah, to go ahead. We move on. What you got? We, are getting, we are getting killed right now. I, so I got us, you. So give us the other three. The four were – Tony Massenberg. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Joe Smith. Okay. Chucky Brown. Mm. And Let's Jim Jackson. Oh, Jim Jackson. I Jack. almost <laughs> said Jim Jackson team, and J's. I couldn't pull the trigger because he was too good at his prime. He yep. played for 12 teams. 12 teams. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. Jim Jackson. We move NBA on. Is a, NBA is a dirty game. Here's, here's, here, here's what we might have better success on. Hopefully. 1978 and 2000. There were in those years, there were the coaches who won coach of the year finished with five hundred records. 
in the year 1978 and the year 2000. The two coaches that won Coach of the Year finished with 500 records. Uh, coach of the year in 2000, basically, what you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming that the only two. I'm going to throw a, a shot in the dark. Lenny Wilkins? Incorrect. That's not a bad guess, though. Been him. Who, who, can you give us can you give us the team for 78? Is that too much? The Atlanta Hawks. But it's not the same dude, obviously. <clears throat> so uh two different coaches. If I get either one. I'll even right? give you the team. I'll give you the team for two thousand. Go ahead. Okay. Don't make that mistake. Mm, the Orlando Magic. Mm. That wasn't was that Doc's team? That was no, that was was that was that Scott? Skiles? Oh, that's a good call, actually. Was that Skiles? I'll go Skiles. I'm, I'm going to go correct. Doc. What? Uh, incorrect? Scott Skiles? Not, not Scott Skiles. I'm going to go Doc. I'm going to take your first guess. I thought it was Doc. So, Joe, what you got? He ain't answered Doc, so it must be Doc. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I mean, if you think about the timeline, what was Doc's first co- – was, was Orlando Doc's first coaching gig? <laughs> Yeah, I can't get that offhand. I'll be willing to bet it is, though. I'll be willing to bet it's Doc. Uh, yeah, I, I got nothing better than Doc, so I'm going to say Doc. Doc Rivers. Okay. Doc Rivers <clears throat> finished 41 and 41. Most down to a buck 30. Most down to a buck 30. His two, his two star players are Corey Maggetti and Ben Wallace. Ouch. Mm. He deserved Ma- coach of the year. And Maggetti was a rookie. Yeah. Damn, he deserved coach of the year. Yeah. He, he deserved a drink. <laughs> he had he had Ben Wallace before he was Ben Wallace. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no doubt. And Corey Maggetti was only a rookie. He was only a rookie. Corey Maggetti never quite panned out either. Like yeah. there was a ton of potential there, and he never quite got to where I think people thought he could. You know. You know what they say about potential? Gets coaches fired. Coaches fired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, got I got Doc Coach of the Year. So I, I, had, I had a I had a coach tell me one time. Somebody said you got potential. I mean, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pretty, you got a pretty a very good point. Yeah, you ain't made coach. it yet. If you yeah. got potential, I mean, where you at right now? You ain't shit. So <laughs> Do you I never want to have potential. Respect that. Two for two with two good ones. T. What's what's number three? All right. Question number. I three. I need a drink after the first two. <laughs> Question number three. In the early '90s, Shaquille O'Neal had a 15 block game, but he wasn't the first to do it. On January 25th, 1986, this Washington Bullet uh, achieved that feat first. Minute ball. Sean Bradley. Mo. Well, Sean Bradley never played for the Bullet. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. I think he Sean did. Bradley. I'm saying Minute ball. What year? What year? 86. That wasn't Sean Bradley, not in 86. My bad. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, 86. Washington Bullet, 86. I am, I'm going to go. I'm going to jump on with Sojo. I'm going to go Manu Ball. I know Manu Ball. You know what? I, I might go. Uh. I know Manu Ball had like a 36 point game with like <sighs> 10 threes and 15 blocks. I don't really know that. I'm just throwing it out there. But <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling good about it. <laughs> That's that drink you got in that car. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> It's, it's 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 funny it's funny but here's 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 the tease, I was working on KJ's True or False, and George Murasan is in one of the one of those ah. questions. So I'm gonna see if George Murasan is oh, a double. Good. That's a good guess. That is a George good guess. Murasan. That is a very good guess. But Mo and Sojo are right. It was ah. Manute Bowl. Yeah, baby. Manute Bowl was a rookie in that game. He put up four points, four rebounds, and fifteen blocks. <laughs> oh. Wow. I like look it. Mm-hmm. Look out! Look out for Bobo. Got the, <laughs> got the, got the blinds. Got the the lineage. <laughs> to quote my man KJ, I'm selling all that Bobo stock. <laughs> you yeah. probably selling that stock. <laughs> I never bought it. Yeah, yeah Sojo was yeah. the only one buying that one. I was, was a Porter Junior was... stock. Yeah, I wasn't buying the Bobo stock. I'm holding on to it. It's gonna mature. It'll mature. Okay. Every time. All right. Are they, you gonna lose several uh, thousand dollars before we have, we're gonna have to do something with this stock thing? I think we got we to might, do like, yeah, we in might two have years. To. Stocks gonna have to turn into push ups. <laughs> you got two Ooh. years to hold on to stock before they turn into push ups. I like That's that. Gonna, we're gonna have to work on that. Yeah, I need, <laughs> I need to see everybody's portfolio then. I need to know where, <laughs> where we all start. What are you working with? What you working yeah. with? 
<laughs> the last and final question, I had to interrupt the D, so I had to throw the D in for the last question. In 2005, this Detroit Piston led the team and led this game in scoring without scoring a field goal. He was 0 for 10, but led the team in scoring for that game. In 2005. In 2005. Without a field goal. Without a field goal. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going Rip. So, Joe? Rip Hamilton, that is. Um, I mean, that's, I was going to th- – I was – yeah, I was thinking just because of the time, the timeline there, I was thinking, okay, Rip Hamilton scoring, you know, but damn, no field goals? Like, ah, I'm going to go – 0 for 10. 14 from 14 for the free throw line. That's your tip. And, and uh, by the way, that is mid-2000s basketball because he led the, the, the team in scoring with 14 points, 14 which is points. one of those 80 to 70 games which people are clamoring for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit. Which is the reason why 50-point games don't hit the same nowadays. Uh, I'll oh, go, here, we, here we go. Come on, here we I'll, go. I'll, I'll, I'll go Mr. Big Shot because I just don't believe that Rip is, uh, Rip is mental enough to still dominate the game without hitting a field goal. I'm going to go Mr. Big Shot, Chauncey Billups. That's a good guess, too. Uh, just to mix it up a little bit and go different, I'm going to go with uh, Prince. Um, Tayshawn. Tayshawn Prince, yeah. That's my guess. And the correct answer goes to Mo Profit, Richard yeah. Hamilton. Damn, that's crazy. 14 of 14. 14.0. You texted, your brother some, you texted your brother these answers. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's yeah. that brotherly love. Right there. I ain't going to let you go out like <laughs> that. We, we, we can see who really watched basketball. That's all that is. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Really? Friendly fire still hurts. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. He threw the first shot and I get the friendly fire tee. <laughs> yeah, that's still, it was a that softer shot, shot a, though. First of all, the shot was at T. Think about was, that. That's that brotherly love right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. He fired off a pistol, messed you through that grenade right over the top. <laughs> <laughs> I fired a shot at T. Here come Big Bro with his back. Exactly. <laughs> hey, that's how it goes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, Mo, you're down to a, what, buck 20? Down to a think, buck 20. Man, that was a good so night. So, Joe got you. one. You got one correct. Yeah. Mo got three. KJ, I think, had a donut. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, just understand how's it gonna feel going first. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my bad. KJ, I'm throwing in Nick's questions next time, man. I'm Don't throwing do that. Don't yeah. do that. Hey, the Knicks back in 1923. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was crazy. T started a question with in 1978. Yeah. I was, I was born in 77. Right. I yes. mean <laughs> yeah. I was one, maybe not even six months. Every, uh, everybody, everybody out here was alive, alive except for me. Yeah. You know what? Right. Fair point. Fair yeah, point. And, right. and another fair point, man. Those were great questions that we had a great time with the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I heard you guys, hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Greybeard's Games. Loved it. Big little bro. t Pros trivia. You went deep with those questions. I am happy that I got a chance to cut some of the push-ups off of what I owe you, though. So that is at least one victory. And KJ's coming for your neck with the next <laughs> edition of KJ's trouble. Games. You are in trouble. Greybeard's Nation, we hope you guys enjoyed the game. Get this content and more content on graybeardspodcast.com. We are everywhere where you can listen to your podcast. We just got iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, uh, Google Podcasts, all added to the family. And we're already on Spycast, uh, Spotify. If you go to Apple Podcasts, listen, subscribe, rate and review, and give us those five stars. We got great content going on IG. Make sure you check that out, including IGTV and the YouTube channel starting to bubble. So make sure you get us everywhere you get your content. We will be there. Same bad time, same bad channel next week. We appreciate you guys. Peace. Great Beer Nation!